January 4th, 2015, Sunday, 4 p.m. I was out when the owner came and uh, he told Dr. Daniel that he was most happy with this surgery done on his park in 2011. This is called the third eyelid flap. Now many vets, or some vets, do not believe that it is effective as a treatment for deep cornea ulcers. Uh, even some vet books, ophthalmology vet books, mention that it is no use. So there are many differences of opinion. In any case, this is a case study of one of the cases where this seven-month-old park in 2011, March 24th, had a deep perforated cornea ulcer, one millimeter times one millimeter on 24th March 2011. It was there for five days, and the owner from living in Pongo now came to see me. So I proposed a third eyelid flap, which I did the illustration for him and also for sharing the knowledge with those vets who are not biased against this third eyelid flap surgery. Now, this case is a successful case because in 2015 today, January, the owners told Dr. Daniel that um, he was most happy with the results. Now results count in, in prior practice and uh, I've asked him to send me a video of the Huck's eye since I wasn't around when he came this afternoon. In any case, I have summarized the treatment of this case and the illustration is as follows. This was given to the owner as well, uh, the original copy. And as you can see, basically it is pulling up the third eyelid to the side and suturing it up. And uh, after that, do a tassography, the eyelid itself, upper and lower eyelids are stitched up as well. And there was a restitching done on the 27th, three days later. And after that, the, the dog went home and was okay. The stitch out was around two weeks, I would say, on the 10th of April. And uh, there was a vertical white scar. And that was all. And no more complaint from the owner. So the dog's eyesight was saved. And uh, this the eyelid flap has proven to be an effective treatment. Although some younger vets do not agree with me. That's because the lecturers might have told them otherwise. Or some books have told them otherwise. And uh, there are always differences of opinions as to what works and what does not work. Uh, some vets might just recommend an e-collar to wear and that's it. But in such in this case, the ulcer was deep and uh, it's better not to rely on e-collars alone or painkillers. It's best to cover up the eye and let it heal. As in this case, it healed quite well. And uh, so we have a happy owner who uh, will send me a video of the eye later. January 4th, 2015, Tuapaya Vets, third eyelid flap case study.